This is Emma from Little Soap Company. Emma, firstly, huge congratulations on Thank being you. shortlisted for the Small Business of the Year Awards at Amazon. I'm guessing that feels pretty good. It's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it was, we couldn't believe it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a huge achievement. So tell me about the business and also where you're based. So we're based in the North Cotswolds, um, really idyllic chocolate box village of Broadway. We absolutely love where we work um, and we every day we appreciate how lucky we are being there. It is a really special place. So I set Little Soap Company up 11 years ago. Um, the aim is still on every label, which is to make pure natural soap accessible to all. So tell me about the products and what you're selling. So um, we started off doing organic soap. Um, we were the first organic soap on the supermarket shelf. There was a, a niche, there was a real gap in the market and it really infuriated me um, that you couldn't go and do your weekly shop and pick up a proper bar of soap. It was all synthetic, you know, not soap. Yeah. Um, so that, that's how the business started. Um, and I just wanted to make a difference and I wanted people to have choice on the shelves. And where did the idea for the business come from originally? <laughs> so, um, so the idea came, my granny always used soap. Um, she had a massive stash of it and it was one of those family unwritten rules that we never bought soap, we always had grand stuff. And when she died, there was stashes left of it. Literally, you open up the wardrobe doors, there was loads. So um, it lasted us quite a while and mom dished it out to, to friends and family. And then, um, it's probably about three years later, mum said, you're actually going to have to buy your own bar of soap. And it was a bit of a moment because it was like suddenly that was the last bit of grand going. Um, and went into the supermarket, as you do, bought soap and it made my skin go really tight. And it was like, God, what was it she was using? It was obviously very, very different and tried lots of different brands. It, none of it worked. Sometimes if I went to a farmer's market or to a craft show, that was nice soap. So it's like, OK, there's a difference between homemade soap and, and mass produced. And why is that? So I started making my own, it was terrible. Then I met a soap maker, had a chat with her, got a few tips, started making better soap. And then it was like, this, this is good enough to belong on the supermarket shelf and how can I make it affordable and accessible to everybody? And um, you know, if you dream big, uh, you kind of get there, don't you? We ended up in supermarkets where we still are. Um, we're in nine major retailers. Um, and then Amazon comes along. So uh, this is where we are now. So Amazon's hugely exciting. The potential's mega. And where are the products being made? The products are made in UK, so mm -hmm. or actually all in England. So we're 100% English manufactured, which I'm really, really proud about. So if you could wind back the clock, sure. what advice would you give yourself? when you were first starting out? I think when I started and going, I want to make soap, I want to be a soap producer, the amount of people, you know, really senior people who gave opinions and said, that's absolutely ridiculous. Do you know how many massive soap producers there are? You know, you're going to try and compete with them. Yes, I am, and I'm going to do it differently, and, and I want to do it in, a, in an honest way, and I want to be really transparent. And I think you have to follow your gut. You have to ignore the people that say no. Surround yourself with the positive people and the people who believe you can do it. Um, and I think, you know, you can make anything you want happen if you want it enough. Yeah. And when did you first start selling on Amazon? On Amazon was two years ago, right. and when I started it was Ask Jeeves, Google didn't exist, Amazon didn't exist. So in my first ever business plan, online didn't even, it wasn't even mentioned because we didn't even, we had a website, we had a holding page, but we didn't, you couldn't sell on there. Mm. So the way the world has moved in that 11 years is, it's just phenomenal. And what impact has selling on Amazon had on the business? The, the impact is astronomical. So. Before Amazon, we were just limited to the major retailers, which in itself is fantastic mm -hmm. and we're getting the soap out there. But you go back to what my aim was originally, which was to make it accessible to everybody. Everybody who has a screen now has accessibility to our soap. So we're not just limited to bricks and mortar supermarkets. We're not just limited to online.coms where you have to have a minimum spend. So it's, it's an entirely different customer, which makes it massively exciting. And what would be the one thing that you want all of your customers to know about your business? I think the, the one thing, when I first started the business 10 years ago, I hid behind the logo and it was just about Little Soap Company and it wasn't about me. And then I kind of took that really difficult step of stepping out outside and going, this is me, this is my brand. I put my name on every label and I stand by everything. And I think I want us to be seen as an honest brand. We are trustworthy. We're natural, we're pure, you know, our organic brand's organic. We are what we say we are. It's as simple as that. And is there a top selling product for you? Probably our rose geranium um, range is one of the most popular. It's, it's a lovely, lovely, but lavender, everyone loves lavender, which is funny. Rose geranium is my favorite. Grapefruit and orange brought the boys in. Um, Eco Warrior is our, is our new one. That's what I'm super excited about. So that's just our, our baby baby. It's literally, it's not even like a week or 
so old. Wow. So that, that's the exciting one to watch. And it is festive season. We are in the lead up now to Christmas. Mm -hmm. yep. So are there any other new products coming out? Yeah, no, for Amazon, we're launching for Christmas. We've got our gift sets, our Broadway gift sets with like the Ligon Arms and all of the, the kind of like Cotswold pictures, Cotswold sheep, everything in it. Um, we've got our hamper as well. It's a beautiful luxury hundred pound hamper. So there's, there's loads going on for Christmas, obviously. Obviously, it's a busy time for you. <laughs> So, a bit of yes, real talk. Yes. This is a competition. Uh huh. There is a brilliant prize at stake. It's an amazing prize at yeah. stake. All very exciting. Yeah. So, what would it mean to you as a business to win the Small Business of the Year Award at Amazon? I think it would be absolutely amazing. I think we've we've kind of got as far as we can, perhaps in the outside world. With Amazon, we've got such a long, long way to go, and it is a really exciting journey. And it's it's a difficult journey when you're on the outside. I think. We would love the support. We would love Amazon to be able to help us reach our absolute max potential because there's so much that can be done. And there's so many people that we can, we can get into their screens and, and end up in their homes. And it's not about selling. It's just about making a difference. It's about making that pure natural skincare accessible to everybody. Yeah, and there is that support as part of the prize. And also yes. there's a trip to Seattle to Amazon's headquarters. Yes. Yes. Is that an exciting prospect for you? Of course it's you? an exciting prospect. Absolutely. We're in the Cotswolds. You know, we have exciting things like that. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we can find you on Amazon, but where else can we find you on social media? We're on Facebook, uh, which is the Little Soap Company. We're also on Instagram, which is little underscore soap underscore co. And Eco Warrior on New Range is also on Instagram, which is eco underscore warrior underscore soap. So big congratulations. Thank also you. wishing you lots and lots of luck to the Little Soap Company. And good luck for the future and for Christmas too. For Christmas, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you.